Agranulocytosis, Wikipedia article audio. Agranulocytosis, also known as agranulosis or granulopenia, is an acute condition involving a severe and dangerous leukopenia, most commonly of neutrophils causing a neutropenia in the circulating blood. It is a severe lack of one major class of infection fighting white blood cells. People with this condition are at very high risk of serious infections due to their suppressed immune system. In a granulocytosis, the concentration of granulocytes drops below 500 cells mm superscript 3 of blood. Classification Signs and Symptoms The term a granulocytosis derives from the Greek, a meaning without, granulocyte, a particular kind of white blood cell, and osis, meaning condition. Consequently, a granulocytosis is sometimes described as no granulocytes, but a total absence is not required for diagnosis. However, osis is commonly used in blood disorders to imply cell proliferation, while penia to imply reduced cell numbers, for these reasons, granulopenia is a more etymologically consistent term, and as such, is sometimes preferred to agranulocytosis. Despite this, agranulocytosis remains the most widely used term for the condition. The terms agranulocytosis, granulocytopenia, and neutropenia are sometimes used interchangeably. Agranulocytosis implies a more severe deficiency than granulocytopenia. Neutropenia indicates a deficiency of neutrophils only. To be precise, neutropenia is the term normally used to describe absolute neutrophil counts of less than 500 cells per microliter, whereas agranulocytosis is reserved for cases with ANCs of less than 100 cells per microliter. The following terms can be used to specify the type of granulocyte referenced. In a general sense the pathogenesis of neutropenia can be divided into two categories. Causes Agranulocytosis may be asymptomatic, or may clinically present with sudden fever, rigors, and sore throat. Infection of any organ may be rapidly progressive. Septicemia may also progress rapidly. A large number of drugs have been associated with agranulocytosis, including antiepileptics, antithyroid drugs, antibiotics, ACE inhibitors, cytotoxic drugs, GOLD, NSAIDs, mebendazole, allopurinol the antidepressants meansaran and mirtazapine, and some antipsychotics in particular. Clozapine users in the United States, Australia, Canada, and the UK must be nationally registered for monitoring of low WBC and absolute neutrophil counts. Diagnosis Although the reaction is generally idiosyncratic rather than proportional, experts recommend that patients using these drugs be told about the symptoms of a granulocytosis-related infection, such as a sore throat and a fever. The Centers for Disease Control traced outbreaks of agranulocytosis among cocaine users, in the U.S. and Canada between March 2008 and November 2009, to the presence of levamisole in the drug supply. The Drug Enforcement Administration reported that, as of February 2010, 71% of seized cocaine lots coming into the U.S. contained levamisole as a cutting agent. Levamisole is an anti-helminthic drug used in animals. The reason for adding levamisole to cocaine is unknown, although it can be due to their similar melting points and solubilities. The diagnosis is made after a complete blood count, a routine blood test. The absolute neutrophil count in this test will be below 500, 
and can reach zero cells slash mm superscript 3. Other kinds of blood cells are typically present in normal numbers. Treatment To formally diagnose a granulocytosis, other pathologies with a similar presentation must be excluded, such as aplastic anemia, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, myelodysplasia, and leukemias. This requires a bone marrow examination that shows normocellular blood marrow with underdeveloped promyelocytes. These underdeveloped promyelocytes, if fully matured, would have been the missing granulocytes. In patients that have no symptoms of infection, management consists of close monitoring with serial blood counts, withdrawal of the offending agent, and general advice on the significance of fever. Transfusion of granulocytes would have been a solution to the problem. However, granulocytes live only 10 hours in the circulation, which gives a very short-lasting effect. In addition, there are many complications of such a procedure. Inadequate numbers of neutrophils, neutropenia, inadequate numbers of eosinophils, eosinopenia, inadequate numbers of basophils, basopenia. Inadequate or ineffective formation of granulocytes. This can be due to bone marrow failure such that occurs in aplastic anemia, several leukemias, and chemotherapeutic agents. There can also be isolated neutropenias where only differentiated granulocyte precursors are affected as in the case of neoplastic proliferation of cytotoxic T cells or NK cells, accelerated destruction of neutrophils. Immune-mediated reactions to neutrophils which can be caused by drugs. An enlarged spleen can lead to splenic sequestration and accelerated removal of neutrophils. Utilization of neutrophils can occur in infections.